So you know why people like techniques, why they want techniques? Because unconsciously, they're trying to avoid the, you can say sometimes gruesome <coughs> level of discomfort when you're going through this inner alchemy, which is what you need to go through to actually, to make semen retention just be a natural way of life to where you don't even call it semen retention anymore. It's just common sense. It's like you don't, you don't call yourself an eater, meaning you eat food. You don't say, yeah, I'm an eater. No, it's like, if it, like we eat, like, so what? Like, that's what we do. That's, that's how semen retention will be. You're just, you don't lose your energy because it's like stupid. Like, why am I gonna lose my energy? Like, are you gonna call that semen retention? <laughs> the fact that we're even using these words is because <clears throat> there's so many people not doing it. This is why. So for in a higher age, this word will just be uh, silly. Not gonna, we're not gonna call it that. Like I said, it'll be like saying that you're an eater. All right, let's forge ahead. Good. So I'm here to tell you there's no real technique. There's no real, let me, let me back up. The reason, I gave one reason why people want techniques, because they want to escape this, this burning, this fire of like going through this evolution. <clears throat> There's something else. Did I forget already? Ah, they want, <laughs> see, they want to keep their old character, this, this human egoic character, they, they don't want that to change. They just want that character to do semen retention. But you see, that doesn't match with that character. That's the thing. That's also why they want some technique. It's like the ego's like, can I just uh, buy a technique? I don't really want to change. Can I, uh, <clears throat> can I like skip the whole uh, evolutionary process? Cause that's like a bit messy and I don't have time for it. And it's like too painful. So can you like, just uh, give me a technique? So then I'll, I'll do the semen retention and <clears throat> I'll get the energy. So then I can go indulge more in the bad habits that I don't want to give up. Yeah, can you do that? Well, there's plenty of business people that are, they love, they love you. <laughs> this is why those, <clears throat> those types of uh, things, classes, courses, it's why they, they make so much money because it's what everybody's looking for. They know how to appeal to the lower level mainstream uh, consciousness of like, I want something for nothing. No, but I'm willing to pay. Yeah, money's nothing. This, this alchemy that I'm talking about, it's free, but it's not cheap. The stuff that you buy with money, it's not free. I mean, it's, it's not free, but it's very cheap. Anything you can buy with money, it's just cheap compared to the things that you organically, <clears throat> that the universe will give you when you undergo this transformation. All right, so I laid that out. Just, just to finish a little more though, um, I was saying that the, the person doesn't want to change their character, okay? <clears throat> they want to basically, they don't want to change, they don't want to get rid of the lust. They still, they want the energy so that then they can go get the girl. They're still obsessed with getting the girl, with having sex, with getting the girl to lavish attention on them, and to validate them. That's lust. See, that's, that, this is what the people don't talk about. This is subtle lust. You're still lusting. <clears throat> so, how can you... Semen retention means when the energy's not going down, it starts to flow. It goes up, it goes sideways, it go, it's flowing. It's not going down. The lust, those thoughts about lust and obsessing about women make the energy go down. Well, then... You don't, you can't retain your semen. Even if you don't ejaculate, it's gonna come out in, your, in, in a wet dream or it's <coughs> somehow. You're still burning dopamine because of that excitement around girls. Oh, I'm going to, the, I'm at the gym. She's checking out my pythons. They all check out my gains, you know? So see, if that's still there, you're still burning uh, the dopamine. So you, it's like an oxymoron. I want to do semen retention, but I don't want to get rid of the, of the lust. Okay, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> there's no techniques. 
<coughs> are going to help you do that. It's, it's the two don't match. So how to make things easier. When we're talking about semen retention being easier, we're talking about the nervous system not being overly stimulated. Now, I just pointed out, lust overly stimulates the nervous system. So semen retention is going to be more difficult. So how to keep the nervous system, because when the nervous system is stimulated, it activate, <coughs> activates the mind, and then the lustful thoughts come, then that brings the energy down, and then you either want to do PMO, or you want to edge, or you, want, you indulge in sexual fantasies, whatever. Because the energy is down. Once it's down, like, what, <coughs> what are you going to do? So if the nervous system is more chill, the energy won't go down so easy. How do we make the nervous system more chill? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to oversimplify and just give a few, two or three. Uh, let's see. Let's see how it comes. First thing's diet. If you eat, I'm not going to get into the labels, vegan or vegetarian or carnivore or paleo. Like, I don't care. You find what you like. <coughs> Fruitarian, watarian, breatharian. Yeah, go be a breatharian. So you find uh, you want a diet that's clean, that feels clean, that doesn't stimulate your nervous system. But you have to be intuitive enough to know when you eat the foods, does it stimulate you? I guarantee if you eat a bunch of hot, spicy stuff, <coughs> that's going to stimulate your nervous system, which then stimulates your mind, which then activates the lustful thoughts. It's just automatic. So check that. Watch yourself. If you, if you, you know, want to make things a little easier. There's no get out of jail free card though, okay? So that's the disclaimer. I'm just talking about make it a little easier. So you find, uh, you find a diet that's clean and that stabilizes your nervous system because it takes a lot of life force to digest this food that we eat, especially to use Ayurvedic terminology if you're more vata, vata nature, more air and ether nature, or if you have a sluggish digestive system your fire, your inner fire is not so strong. <coughs> your body has to work at digesting this food. Well, that aggravates the nervous system. So then it's going to put pressure on your <coughs> mind. And then that, again, you spiral down into lust, uh, potentially. I want to sit down. Um, so... You have to be intuitive enough to know about your diet and, and check and experiment. Don't just eat like a zombie. When you eat, <clears throat> pay attention. How is this food affecting my nervous system? How is it affecting my mind? I think a service truck is coming. You see him? I don't see him yet, but I hear him. Intruders. I don't know how loud it is, so I don't. I want to let him pass. <coughs> but I didn't forget where we're at. I'm talking about diet. Oh, it's a tractor. Um, all right. So you be aware that diet is a big influence. I gotta move, man. I don't want these intruders peeping, peeping on what we're saying. Um, you be aware that uh, the diet is a big influence, because it is, on your semen retention practice. And then you, you follow your own inner voice, okay? I'm not, like I say, I don't get into debates about diet. If you like carnivore, eat it. If you like vegan, eat it. <clears throat> Me personally, I like, because I have, a, I have a, my digestive system isn't so, so strong by nature. So I like a lot of, all day long I drink liquids. I make tonics, smoothie. I eat melon. I like melon, cantaloupe, and honeydew because it's real easy to digest, but it still has some earth element. It's grounding for me, you know. And uh, if I get a little hungry, maybe I'll have some organic peanut butter on some organic bread with some organic jelly. <laughs> just a half sandwich. Just take the edge off. Just because you're hungry don't mean you need to eat a big meal, all right? <clears throat> you got to find this balance. If we eat too much, it's not good. But if we eat too little, it's not good. Just, just as eating too much can stimulate your nervous system, eating too little can also stimulate your nervous system. That's the problem when I was fruitarian in the past and 
too hardcore of a raw vegan. After some years, man, I was getting, <clears throat> my nervous system, my neuro neurological system was getting ratted out because it's like it wanted some earth element to ground. It's, no, I'm detoxing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't kill myself. Some people do. They just, their immune system gets weak and then they get a virus or something. And then their mind tells them, I need to fast harder. And then they die. <laughs> so pay attention to your diet. The other thing, let's just make it simple. Dopamine stimulation. Obviously that affects your nervous system. So look, comb through your lifestyle habits and see. <clears throat> Where am I stimulating my, my dopamine center? How does that feel? If I go to a rave party and a bunch of girls and they're dressed all provocative, how does that feel? I mean, you're going to think you feel good because it's dopamine. It's feel-good stuff, chemicals. But in reality, what's that doing to your nervous system? <laughs> Do you notice how that activates your lust? You can get swallowed up into that. I mean, it's easy. It's easy to, to notice that. So you have to pay attention to that. Look through your life and do introspection. Write down all the ways that uh, that you're overly stimulating your nervous system because it's making your semen retention practice harder. And it's activating this whole lust instinct in you. <laughs> so you have to pay attention. You have to, you know, be willing to take your life back. Don't be passive and just hoping to, you know, find somebody who's <laughs> going to give you some magic answer and make all your problems go away or sell you some technique or course to make everything easy. It, it doesn't exist. But maybe you need to look for it for a while to see it don't exist. I'm talking to those people who already know it don't exist. I, 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 yeah, it's just, you, you can't escape <clears throat> this grind that the human being has to go through in order to realize who you are beyond the human level. If you, once you... Once you get more in touch with your, your true nature, which isn't human, then semen retention, like I said, it's automatic. Um, you don't even call it that. I mean, you can call it that in a conversation because, you know, you have to use words to communicate. But really, it's, you're, just, you're living like you're supposed to live. So this is, this is the goal. This is where we want to get to. I'm uh, working on my semen retention book. I just finished a... It's kind of like an autobiography book. It's kind of fun. The stories, uh, <laughs> the first hundred pages are just crazy. But then we start to <clears throat> evolve <laughs> from there. And um, so then uh, I have somebody kind of editing that. And then now I'm working on the senior retention book and um, putting putting together the things that really matter. And I'll put that in a book and maybe that'll help. So good. You guys have a good day and I'll see you soon.